Hey guys, and welcome to Kingplay's Alpha Polaris. Uh, this is a point and click adventure game that came out in 2012, I think. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It looks promising. Uh, a little bit of the, the thing meets uh, uh, Siberia, maybe? <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, let's begin. It's a Finnish game, I think. Not sure. That's some dirty socks right there. Hey, Norwegian guy. <laughs> Are you in there? Ka. There's another polar bear for you to stun. <laughs> Let's be friendly. Okay, if you could come back in an hour or two. You think it'll wait while you snooze away? Rise and shine, Norway. And if you don't, I'll shoot that thing myself. You want to get that science project of yours or whatever it is done? Let's take okay, offense. okay. Hold on. I'll just get the gun and stun you instead. What was that? You just come and try, butt boy. And don't <laughs> let Miss Alaska hold you up back there. Ig vedikya kai gahar. Well, we seem to be up. Um. I mean, pretty standard. Point of click adventure game um, controls, so should be fine. Uh, anything we need here? Here can. Polar bear, Twilight of the Polar Bears. Digital thermostat, 5 Fahrenheit, and so it gets minus 15 degrees. A fusion jazz bass, uh, jazz band my brother plays accordion in, they suck, but in a cool way. Good to know. Need to get all my uh, Yeah, so I think clicking on your character basically. The next resident should sweep the corners and replace the burnout light bulb in there. Radiator. Well. I guess we will need them later. Uh, Greenland polar bear hunting patterns associated with sea ice decline. Uh, contact, yeah, abstract. Near the southern latitudes of polar bear range. Um, Changes in polar bear hunting patterns correlate with ice with, with, with sea ice decline. With this thesis, we test the patterns, uh, the pattern changes in Celtic Eastern Greenland above 78 latitude 
given the, the GPS colors for liability, spatial accuracy, and other associated measurements. We use automated GPS colors to record the, the locations and activity for adult female po po polar bears. Compared to earlier research, we chose TTQ eva evaluation to evaluate the effect of sea ice diminishing on hunting behavior. Based on the critical predation concept, more quanti quantitatively. Okay. Key topics of focus included sea ice, snow, weather, mar marine mammals, land mammals. Uh, funded by Bergen University, Department of Zoology, and the Bergen Zoological Museum. Uh, okay. Didn't feel like completing. It's a map. Some kind of triangulator I have no idea about, so. Where's our gear? Anything from our room, maybe? No? Explorers are really Colonel de Munson and Richard Nansen always thought, brought a flag, so that's why I was given. I'm guessing we don't need anything from this room. Not clicking, room displays your current tasks. Space is a hospital. Okay. Is this not a note? Oh, that's just our name. I guess. Those guys are from the previous team. It's warm. Extinguisher, good to know. Nova Anawak. Micropaleontologist. Alves Black. Owl Shaman Exploration Date Technician. It's empty. Interesting. You talk to any of them? Nova, are you in there? Well, I'm guessing. I'm guessing none of them are. What is this here? Tell you no more for this. <laughs> okay, station keys. Do I actually need any of them? No, I don't think I do. Not at the moment. Um, hey girl, we remembered it's your birthday tomorrow. Hopefully the Greenland Post Service gives this uh, before your return. We all miss you. That's for Nova. Yes, nothing else we need? No? Well, living room. Let's check the living room. Just in case someone's there. Oh. Tully spotted another polar bear outside. Not now, room. Polaris, come in, Polaris. Go ahead, we hear you. I found oil deep down a crevasse near Test Drill 2. It's an open pit, Nova. I found seep oil. But that's. that's wonderful. And there's more to the story. I also ran into something unexpected. But I'd better tell you in person. I'll be there soon. While you wait, you can contact Thule. We need to announce this right away. What was unexpected? Should I tell them something else? Just tell them we're going to make the shareholders happy and the liberals angry pretty soon. Okay, where are you now? A few miles northeast of Polaris. But speaking of tree huggers, is that Norwegian chap still bothering you? Oh no, he's not. Not at all. What? I tell you, I haven't seen such an obvious crush since my prom night, and that's been a while. He's in the room, Al. Shut it. He's there? Well, I think that was all. See you soon. Over and out. <laughs> so he found oil. I don't know what that last part was about, though. For some reason, he seemed to think that you have a bit of a crush on me. Crush? No, I... I just... Come on, is that how they do it in Oslo? Whoops, I think I left the line open. And what a thoughtful mistake it was. 
This has been a comedy goldmine. Look, maybe Rune could fix you something nice in the canteen. Uh, let's say, tomorrow. I'll even throw in some fuel and ammo for Tully. Uh, for distraction, you know. I could do that. Good. Do I have a say in this? Not really. <laughs> Can you cook, Rune? That's my girl. Rune, I happen to know what she likes, but I'll fill you in later. Now is not the time. Okay, over and out. Over and out. So, did you have anything else in mind? Tully spotted another polar bear outside. Polar bear research on a station owned by a godless oil company. You know, this might be the biggest oil discovery of our careers. While you are trying to save the Arctic. That's... A serious conflict of interest, I know. I love ice climbing and the Arctic. That's why I'm here. Did my master's measuring skewer eggs in Svalbard. As for the company, me being here is just a cheap publicity trick. I'll play along and get my thesis done. But maybe I should get moving. That bear won't be around forever. Be careful. Everything Tully knows about polar bears comes from cola commercials. <laughs> well, I'm guessing we, we are on a team that wants to destroy the Arctic, basically. Or Greenland. Uh, construction photos. Mm. Some DVDs, some are even watchable. Transmitter. They say she can pinpoint an oil reservoir, but by analyzing the microscopic fossils in the drain samples, and the drill samples. But no. This is Harpoon, Inuit Harpoon. It's supposed to be the head of an Inuit har Harpoon, the tip is in pieces. Uh, let's see if we need something from the kitchen. I'd have doubted, but uh, sugar. No, no. A nice retro fridge. Anyway, let's head over outside. I guess. Mm, anything from here? I don't think so. What's here? I don't need anything from there. Press drill. So, that's enough machinery in here to keep itself self-sufficient. They don't have to fly in every piece of custom equipment. Yeah, that's true. Tully's tent. He likes to keep just to sleep in the tent, just like me when I was four. <laughs> Some gas, good to know. We need it later. Hmm. Get my polar gear, polar gear on. This is drying closet. A G A flag. Serious to marker or oil surveillance sites. Euler Petroleum Greenland Expedition. Okay. Yeah. Let's see our inventory. We have. Multi tool, a notebook, a lighter, a flag. Can we do anything with the flag? No. I'm guessing some rope can come in handy. Packaging tape. Operation equipment, I have no idea what it's for. It looks like a car radio. Um, let's get a rifle, I guess. You gonna get some coats or something? Oh yeah, there's coats inside. Mm, let's explore the basement just to get our surroundings. Uh, maple syrup. S uh, sacrificial anode. It's firmly secured. We just carved pieces out of it. Lovely. Let's head out anyway. Mm. 
Hey, Rune, over here. Let's talk to our partner, I guess. Back there, behind the station. I think it tried to stalk me, so I took off. Then it's probably a male, so let's be very careful. He's a big one, all right. Somewhat over 200 kilos, I'd say. And guess what? He is a she. Does that matter? More than one would think. Tracking collars can't be fitted to males. Their necks are wider than their heads. Hmm. Good to know. Ted Tilly Crean, Irish all around mechanic. Uh, Slade Dog Cage, they used to keep 10, ten dog team in there. No offense. Imagine that that's useful. Northern ridges beyond the that ridge is the Greenland Sea. She must be over two and a half meters long. That's impressive for a female. Well, sorry to say, but we're gonna have to put you to bed. Oh. Well, that's awkward. We need to get down, I guess. Are you yes. gonna shoot it or what? Hold on, I'll just need to get the rest of the gear. Yeah, we came under prepared. I somehow thought it would be loaded. Guess not. Yeah, it would make sense that it's in the laboratory. So, uh, what do we have here? Sedative gear. Sedative needles. Reverse evasion, where is it? Oh, so we bring her back out of sed sedation with that thing, okay. Pure hood. No idea what that is. Map of Greenland. What is photochromic window? The surface is designed to reduce glare. An ancient sea dwelling in nastiness. Nova prepares those in her spare time. A tidy spot where Nova works. Station blueprint. Is that our map? I think it is. Definitely is. Mm. Not a very big station, but. Distilled water, acetic acid, this uses solvent. Uh, well, I'm guessing that's all stuff we'll need for later. For now, we have the sedative, so we might as well just take care of the bear. Now, then, what's this ox oximeter? Digital pulse meter that clips directly to mucosa. I'm guessing that that's for the tracker. Sorry about it. Good kill. It hit her right where it was supposed to, just above the shoulder blade. Let's give the sedative some time to kick in and then have a closer look. Ouch. Look at that maw. It can easily crush a seal skull or drag a small beluga whale out of the sea. Mighty nasty smell. It shouldn't be that bad. Mm. Long neck is an evolutionary adaptation for swimming. Good to know. Both balls look clean. Which feather underneath the fur she's now malnourished? Hmm. Bullseye. Well, I'm guessing we can take it out. Careful! Relax. I know what I'm doing. 
Um, I actually examine the mouth, maybe. There's the reason for the smell. The right quadrant mandibular canine is chipped. The what? A fang. The tooth is infected and the infection is spreading. Look at the dark oh. spots on the gums. Oh. Well, that's sad. Maybe we can, um... Today, the polar bear. Both malnourished, big sores on female pole pads, you know, with uh, ring seals, carcass, inch claws, tooth infected. Don't approach until head down, minimum two minutes, severe breathing, check heart rate, remove darts, clear up after reversal. Interview with Norwegian biologist and adventurer Rune Knudsen. Now a 27 year old biology major did his master thesis a few years back studying Skuas in one of the most hostile places on earth, the Svalbard Archipelago. While leading an eight man mountaineering mission, we called Rune preparing for his next expedition and he took the time to ask and we took the time to ask him about his aspirations. Looking at you face to face I can definitely see a resemblance to Nansen. What is your relationship with him and other legendary Norwegian explorers? Well, there is no direct kinship, or at least not one I, I know of, but I think the the same fire is there. Like Nansen, I don't want to make any compromises. He was willing to give all, all he had to study the mysteries of the North. These the early explorers were the ultimate non conformists, and that's something I want to emulate myself. Nansen was also known for his athletic prowess. Is that the reason why you combine the mountaineering with your studies? Actually, it was the other way around. I think I, I was about 16 when I, when I and a couple of friends founded an ice climbing club. Uh, the Compisen from I'm um, not even gonna attempt, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't have any plans for studying biology back then. However, that was uh, what sparked my interest in the Arctic nature. And it was the same club that organized this Falbat expedition. Yes, and I was given to go there as a club, and as we had always dreamed about our own expedition. Still, what I and the others didn't want was just to go for an adventure. As human beings, we all have an obligation for this planet. I was preparing my master's back then, and I had heard about a need to study the, the changes in school nesting in Svalbards. So we felt that it was an important mission to take on and justify our trek. And the rest is history. Your paper was highly referenced, and you also secured a scholarship. It is too early to talk about that. The grant is for studying polar bears, and I will do uh, the relevant uh, field studies in Greenland. Currently, I'm in the process of finding the logistical support I need. So, for all the Romantic Era dilettantes and patrons reading this, I want to wish you good luck with that, and we'll keep an eye out for you. And thank you for this interview. Hmm. There's a little bit of the celebrity rune. Uh, I wonder what we need from here. Sedated polar Oh, so th those are other sedated polar bears. Okay. Well, I still don't know what to do. See meter. Um, do I take it out? It's too late to take it out. What we need here is an animal surgeon. Well, can we talk to you? I should take it easy and check the sedation checklist. Uh, I just did that. What was what was the problem? Uh, sedation checklist. Check 
check heart rate. Well, how do we check the heart rate? Oh, we need to put we need to put the tracking collar. Completely That's forgot about that. Tracker? Yes, but it transmits only triangulation data. The collar will come off after a few weeks. After that, I'll retrieve it. Hmm. Do we turn it on, maybe? Um. Uh, do I give her the agent, maybe? To bite my head off. Interesting. So, the flag, maybe? No. Do we miss an item? Ah, oh, what am I missing? What am I missing? Well, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so I'm gonna look around because there might be some clues as to what the hell am I supposed to do. Sturdy looking roof support pillar. Well, gasoline tank, which I already electricity, fuel stations. What do I need? Oh. So that's the heart rate thing. Where do I attach it though? So which area exactly? No. In the mouth? I guess. If you say so. A little over 40, that's normal for sleeping animal. We're done here. She can't eat with that tooth. That's why she's so badly malnourished. We need to contact the veterinary service tomorrow. Are you gonna keep her on a leash until then? Let's haul her to that old sled dog cage to wait for them. You stay here and guard her. I'll figure out a way to do it. What if she starts moving before that? I'd keep my distance. She'll be rather pissed off when she wakes up. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be near that. She meets. She. Okay, so do we. Tie a rope that would hurt her? Um. Need to find something like a sled, maybe. Oh, there it is. I don't have the keys. Mm, the keys were somewhere in the beginning. I remember. Was on that um, poster board, I think. Or Tilly has them, in which case I'm wasting my time. But um, no, it's not those keys. Well, that sucks. Any keys here? Maybe something I didn't I missed? No. This not something from the tools? Nothing. We don't need anything from the inside then. Well, I mean, we might as well go outside. We'll go from the other side this time. Generate. I don't think I should. Yeah, I don't think we should either. Or that valve. So maybe our colleague has some information about. Have you figured out how to move her? That thing will get up any minute. Uh.
Ain't gonna work. Other ideas? Ain't gonna work. Other... Let's take the snowmobile and pull. Hmm. That might work. Interesting mechanic. Hmm, so what do we tie the rope to the snowmobile maybe? Ratchet strap, no. There's more than one is that exactly? Oh. Okay. Do we use that on the bear? How we how we use the rope? I don't know. Oh now we tie the rope. It's not going to work, the snowball won't be okay. You're right. Uh, well, that might work, even though I don't know if it's going to have enough strength to support it, but I guess it'll work. Well, thankfully it's still sleeping. Eula Petroleum is going to love her. We are not telling them. We need to do what we can to help her. I'm gonna go take a leak. Yeah. Yeah, you do do that. We'll see how she copes in the cage. There should be antibiotics somewhere in the lab. Yes. Yes, there should be. And I think we need to give her the uh, the medicine that reversed the sedation. I think. Now then, it should be in here. Silimicin antibiotic. Liquid pen penicillin. She weighs about 200 kilograms, so 1,000 milligrams a day oral or intramuscular should do it. That means I would need to keep her in a very small cage for these 14 days. I'll count out till first thing in the morning. Well, I don't think she's going to like room. that. Chapel's coming through. Hmm. That's her boss, I Rude. imagine. Ow. Pretty brisk weather out there. Leave no skin exposed. What do you got there, Gramps? Early Christmas. A few hours ago, I was roaming the glacier using the crevasse radar. No magnetometrics or anything. Suddenly, the thing starts bleeping, and I hit the brakes. Went outside and found myself on the edge of the nastiest crevasse ever. Holy shit! And that's not even the hairiest part glanced down and there it was deep in the hole a bubbling pool of crude oil again no transient electromagnetics telerics or anything just stumbled on it so i figured there's more to this story tied myself to the six wheelers winch and went down you fucking went down the crevasse alone and with that trunk of yours yes tully i bloody went all the way let's say i had a hunch of an old oil wizard did some surface sampling, looked around, and found these. Okay. Unsettling, isn't it? It was a sacrificial site of some kind. That thigh bone. It's human. Yes, there were plenty of body parts down there. But I didn't want to stick my nose any deeper than I already had. What do you think, Rune? Uh, tell them it's not your field. Tell them it's an important find. Well, it is an important find. This is a significant find. 
The symbols look like some sort of elaborate writing, but it's not really my field. I have a few paleoanthropologist contacts in Bergen. We could reach them through the Thule station. Maybe, but let's not be hasty here. The fine could mean big bucks for all of us, so let's not draw any unnecessary attention to it. Tully? Right on, Gramps. Last time I checked, we were on an oil research station, not some fancy university. You are not going to believe this. Euler himself is coming here. Bob? They're sending Bob? No, much worse. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'll be in my room. What the hell was that? Alistair Euler, the son of the company founder, is coming here. I've known Bob a long time, and in this case, the apple has landed far off. Oh, he sure got the Ice Queen ticked off. We have some mutual history together. I'm going out for a smoke. You joining, Gramps? No, thank you. I'll reward myself with a couple of sandwiches. Viking? No, thanks. I'm trying to quit. And if I'm not going to be allowed to contact a real expert, I'll examine those bones myself. Knock yourself out. You do know what your oil find means for Greenland, don't you? Yes, it'll bring in money to the local people, thus giving them tools for pursuing their independence. It'll also have a severe effect on the ecology, not to mention global climate problems. What do you want me to do, Rune? I'm an old guy. For once, I found something worthwhile. Anyway, I suggest you take a look out of your window before going to sleep. There should be powerful aurora in the sky tonight. Hmm. Let's check those bones. By the way, really good voice acting. I really like it. It's rare for a point of the adventure game. Hmm. They're definitely human and heavily mineralized. Maybe we can clean them somehow. Train. I'm guessing we don't need anything for a train. Decomposed surface. There are markings below it, but I can't make anything. Those two markings stand out. The lower one looks human. There are messy symbols and symbols in the lower part, almost like they were intended to, to look bad. Messy symbols, yeah. What about this one? These three symbols are inside a cartouche as if together they would have a special meaning hmm. a magnificent arc of symbols on the upper part looks almost like the sky is bleeding interesting observation well I don't think we can do more here so I don't think so Anything to clean it with, maybe? What is this? No. Hmm. Can we burn it? No. I don't think so. so what do we take the? What do, we, what do we take the bones for? Can we clean them? Can we hurt? No. What is this solvent? I'm um, guessing it doesn't work. We can take this. But honestly, I have no idea what to do with the bones. So I'm just gonna go try the antibiotics. Actually, I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if we. Are a piece out of it. We need a knife, actually. I'll go find one in the kitchen. There should be one in the kitchen. Uh, I'm wondering if. Um, well, let's talk to you first. What do you think about the find? When are you gonna get it on with the Inuit princess, huh? Don't tell me you haven't tried. Me? Hell no. A cold and bitter creature that woman is. An ice princess. She was working in Thule before this, right? 
The word is that they had to transfer her to keep a horde of ogling corporate losers away. Like the Eula guy she was mad about. And that she enjoyed the hassle an awful lot, too. Just take a number, pal. Okay, that's enough. I have things to do. But if you need some advice about Inuit women in general, you are now talking to the Eskimo champ. Right. My point is that she'll eat you alive. She's done it before. Good to know. But he does seem like a bit of a douche, so... Um... Let's grab a knife. If we find someone. Oh, well, I mean... Is there some knives here? No... This is... In the fridge, maybe? Milk... Cream and sandwiches. No. Ah, rude. Quite a day, wasn't it? Oh, let's talk to him, I guess. I understand you have a long work history in the Arctic. Too long, my friend. Too long. I've seen all kinds of creatures in here. All kinds of jaunty fellows. Tell him about the polar bear. Did you see my new mascot? I did, but how long is she going to stay in that cage? That's a different thing. I'm not going to keep her. What's the problem with her? Infected jaw. Dooley will probably agree to send in a vet. That's a ballsy move, you know, to capture a polar bear. Let's talk about the crevasse. Did you say the artifacts were in a cave, not in the bottom of the crevasse? A glacial cave beneath the ice, yes. It was deep beneath the surface. Not a very pleasant place. But don't start getting any weird ideas about academic investigations or anything. I found it and I'll dedicate it to pumping black gold. Mm. What are you working on? Right now, uh, my main field of expertise, a sandwich. Mm. Good to know. So I'm guessing we don't need anything from the kitchen. Inflation hood. Mm. Nothing wrote down, we'll be in trouble. These people don't want Well, I can understand. Oh, I need a knife. Do we have a knife in the room, maybe? Actually, I'm not even sure I need a knife. Let's try it. Let's go to the polar bear. I have some... I wonder if I can just use my mochi tool, because I think it does have a knife. I'm gonna try. Or there is a knife uh, in this room and I'm just blind. And I can absolutely use that knife. Well, chunk of frozen meat. I'll spice it up with antibiotics. I thought. Well, well, let's go give it to the bear. I need to give the antibiotic shot tonight. Uh, I wonder if I should wake her up first or... Probably. Most likely. Oh, seems a bit awake. Um. Yeah. He's not going to eat it with that jaw. Hmm. He's already awake. So, what do I actually do? There's nothing I can do with the jaw. Well... What do we do then? Oh, 
honestly, no clue. But I'm guessing I should go back. Mm, let's check the lab again. Or the basement. There was a lot of stuff in the basement. Um, extinguisher. Ice cream. No, I'm guessing nothing of interest. And I can try to clean the bones, I guess, but... Well, I was wife, she passed away. Radiates humility and enlightenment, Office Buddha. That's mine. My folks don't d d distinguish the polar bears from brown ones. That's weird. It's interesting. I'm kind of at a loss. Anyway, I'll try to figure out what uh, I'm supposed to do for next time, guys. Uh, take care.